I mean, don't be Z. <laughs> don't be Z. 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 Please do not be a Z user. Just Zen headbutt me and don't flinch. Don't be Z. Don't be Z. Do not What flinch. is going on, guys? Joe to here, your coach of the Seattle Sea Kings for season three of the WBE, going into our week seven match, taken on the New York Noibats, coached by Mewtwo fan Nate. And I'm not going to lie, despite him being the lowest record uh, player we've been playing all season, I am most nervous for this matchup out of all of them so far. And the reason for that is, number one, like I said, every team we've played other than him so far has had a winning record. So we were always the underdogs going in. Always, always, always. Uh, number two, I lost to him in the Let's Go Pikachu EV. So this is, um, I don't want to say personal because that's not true. But I, I kind of want to get a little bit of revenge uh, for that. Um, not against Nate so much. More just beating someone who beat me uh, relatively recently. And, sec and third of all... Like, we're tied in record. I know it's kind of it's kind of just the reverse of, 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 of number one. We're tied in record minus differential. He's only had me by one differential. If I win, we go up a spot, and we basically have a decent shot at going for playoffs. If not, we take a fat L and a big setback. And this week, I'm bringing Manectric, Bizsharp, Mega Venusaur, Avalug, Umbreon, and Infernape. And I've got a bunch of special sweepers that I'm afraid of him bringing. So let's see what he's got. Uh, on the team and hopefully it's not anything too brutal uh, leave a like on this video if you're excited leave a comment down below let me know what you think the score is going to be ahead of time the uh twitter poll was split about um i think it was split like 50 or 40 60 60 40 or something like that so first of all thank you twitter for having more faith in me than normal but still not enough to beat someone who i'm tied with i appreciate that it wasn't a 50 50 Come on, guys. No, just kidding. Um, but yeah, let's see what happens here. Some people just might have liked this team matchup. I don't really know. But what do we have? We have... Oh, God. We have basically everything I was afraid of. He did not bring Go-Goat. He did not bring Dusk Noir. He did not bring Slow King. He did not bring his... Uh, one, two, three, four... He did not bring the Cloister. I overprep for that thing. I'm glad it's not here, but he definitely, definitely was bringing that as the thing I, or that was definitely the thing that I feared um so but that's fine because I can still deal a fat L to the majority of the things on this team with my uh, Scarf Infernape uh I'm gonna lead with uh my Manectric the only instance I don't just click overheat is if Hydreigon is the lead in which case I have Signal Beam it is a Specs Manectric so oh boy here goes nothing here goes nothing Swellow Thunderous, Hydreigon, Lucario, Sylveon, Mega Steelix. Oh boy, here we go. I don't have a jacket near me, so if I start shivering this week, I'm screwed. Oh boy, Pokemon Trainer Nate wants to battle. Not to be confused with, uh, not to be confused with Musician Nate. T-Pose? That is... 100% not going to predict my scarf. Or so I hope. He would probably not think this is a scarf set, so I think he's just gonna... Uh, the, the best he does is... Hmm. I have two things about this that scares me. Number one, uh, Swellow I don't think gets uh, any way of dealing major hurt to me. I think the answer here is Bisharp. 100,000 times over. And you know what I realized? I did not put my teams into the showdown calc because i'm an idiot because i'm an idiot so i should fix that real quick come on joe get with the program get with the program you had one of them in there but you should have had all of them in there all right let's check the electric real quick let's check the swallow it's a boom burst build it absolutely obliterates me this sharp this sharp takes a lot of damage from heat wave. This thing has heat wave. You gotta be kidding me. This thing has heat wave. That just complicated everything. Ever, ever, everything. I'm gonna go into uh, I'm gonna go into Umbreon, and just hope he doesn't U-turn. I think Umbreon does not appreciate a U-turn. Umbreon takes well 19 to 23. Okay, so if he protects and he reveals a flame orb, I go into Avalon. That is that is the hard answer. That is the hard answer. He's going for the U-turn. That's fine. He's going to deal what? Nice and 30%. This thing is a physically invested build. Physically invested. Swellow is here. He's probably rocking that flame orb. He probably just didn't see it. I really doubt he's some kind of choice band set up. Uh, 
uh, so Swellow is invest. Because if he had just lightly tapped me for 20 to 25, then he would have been, he would have definitely been a special variant, like a boom burst set that I'd have to worry about. So good to know that he's not. Good to know that he's not. Honestly, I'm in a weird spot where I think he just goes into uh, Mega Steelix and just fires off rocks. That would be, that would be problematic. Or you could just go to Lucario and try and set up. One of the two. One of the two. Either or. Either or. Oh my god, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. I don't want to be a victim to a setup sweep. I think uh, Steelix, Lucario, or Sylveon are possible here. Any of those. Or Hydreigon. If he's if he's got Focus Blast, you could bring Hydreigon in here. But uh, I think I'd be most okay with that option. Just because I might be able to tank it fairly well. Hmm. What's he doing? Nate, what are you doing? Nate, you're making me nervous. What are you doing? What are you doing, Nate, my boy? He's going into Mike the... Oh. That is not what I thought was coming out right about now. That is not at all what I thought was coming out right about now. Is he just going for setup? Is he just going for setup? Or is he U-turning again? I want to say he's U-turning again. You turning or vaulting? Does this thing get U-turn? Yeah, it gets U-turn, I think. Uh, Focus Blast doesn't do too much. U-turn does not enough for me to care. So Baton Pass is the play. I'm gonna just let him freak me out with some kind of tech right now and then just hopefully I can go into my uh, Infernape to scare whatever. I'm stealing momentum here. I, he's gonna just have pivot momentum all day long. He's gonna sub. Oh, Nate. Oh, Nate, you're scaring the shit out of me already. Scaring the shit out of me already. What's the play here? What is the play here? I have no idea. Hmm. Sub nasty plot? If so, do I care? Yes, I care. What am I saying? Hmm. Shiza. Shiza, Shiza, Shiza. All right. Looks like I'm, looks like I'm risking, looks like I'm risking my, uh, I'm an Ector care a little early. Got to make sure that that sub's gone. Got to make sure that that sub goes away. I don't care if he goes into Steelix right now. I really don't. I don't, I don't care in the slightest if he goes into Mega Steelix, but I need to make sure that the sub is gone. Because at least if I lose my Nectric here, I can go into my Scarf from Front Ape and try to try to scare him out. I can just try to put on the Hurt. But he 100% cannot be allowed to maintain Scarf, and I don't think he can do anything minus an HP ground to kill me. I don't even think he can do that, honest. Yeah, no, Focus Blast doesn't kill, which tells me Hidden Power Ground's not going to kill. Hidden Power... He's going to Psychic? That's not going to kill. 58 max yeah that was a that was a kind of an upper tier roll but that's enough that I can't live that is enough that I cannot live hmm do I make the read that he's gonna sub again I think I have to because I'm too weak to everything else he can do. Bisharp can't take a Focus Blast in any universe anyway. Neither can Avalug. Well, Avalug goes to... Hmm. This is going to sound weird, but I think the play is to double... Like, go into Robocop and then double. But I don't think he predicts a Focus Blast here. I don't think there's any way he does that. I think he goes for the surefire kill, because he knows he outspeeds. <sighs> damn it. God damn it, I'm pinned already. Flamethrower doesn't even kill. I need him to have one less sub. I need him to have one less sub for me to even have a chance of killing right now. Uh, am I going ballsy? Am I really getting ballsy this early at the game? 
No, because even then, that doesn't do me any good. I might just lose to this thing. He's going to sub again. Oh, thank God. Okay, Infernape can cleanly kill. Infernape can cleanly kill. All right, smart play was made. Smart play was made. Unless he has, like, an Eapapa Berry or something like that. I think we're fine. So I'll just let Manectric go down. I will let Manectric go down here. The Psychic, that's fine. Yep, that kills. Okay. Okay. Thunderous. Sub. Psychic. KOs. Manectric. That's a darn shame. I really didn't get to use that thing in the way I wanted to use it, but that's okay. The only downside is now he knows that 100% a big hit is coming, and I have to go for the big hit in case he opts to uh, sub, predicting my U-turn. So does anything take a flamethrower? The Hydreigon does. So let's just go for flamethrower. We have to do it. Have to do it. Have to do it. I don't like to do it, but we have to do it. And then I 100% need to keep in front of alive because it threatens out whatever comes in uh, on once it's back on its off its scarf. So I think the play is he goes straight into High Dragon and then I have problems dealing with that and then I have to baton pass again. He's gonna sub Nate, you wildin. Nate, you are wildin. I guess that's his way of scouting. That is definitely his way of scouting. Is he gonna go to one health just to get a berry popped? Because he's definitely odd health. Well. No, if he was a berry, if he was a berry set, he would have been even health, because he would want that to trigger at 25%. So I don't think he's a berry set. Unless he misgenned that, but I really don't think so. Like, I don't think he'd be Salic Berry. It's possible, but I don't think he'd be Salic Berry. It's a little it's a little niche. Yeah, I'm I'm scarfed. Nate, come on. I'm scarfed. Yeah, I don't know why you sacked that, but I'm I'm definitely scarfed. You revealed my scarf, now you know. And Thunderous is gone. And we're tied, but my momentum is non-existent. And you know what? I mm, I don't like this. That's top. Yikes. That's an odd name. That is an odd name indeed. Does he go and make the Focus Blast prediction? I wonder. Or he can make the Fire Blast prediction, either or. If he does anything other than Draco, we're in good shape. Or if he does Draco, we're in good shape. If he does anything else, we're in bad shape. Dragon Pulse? Oh, that's fine. That is fine. I am totally fine with this. I'm doubling out. I am 1000% doubling out. Because the majority of what he does... Unless he... Does this thing get Earth Power? I think Earth Power is the only neutral play. I'm not even sure if this thing gets it, to be honest. I'm not sure if he's running anything other than Scarf. Yeah, I think just going back into Infernape is the best play I can do right now. So, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to do it. 100,000%. I just hope he doesn't opt to go into... I'm, I'm hoping maybe he goes into, like, his, uh... No, I, I say that. I think just his best play is... For me, his best play is to just... Predict with a different move. Just don't Dragon Pulse me again. And don't Earth Power me. Flamethrower. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. I called that right. He's probably thinking I'm special. Therefore, I'm going to risk a focus miss. Um, No, I'm going to U-turn. I'm not going to go for close combat right now. I think he switches out here. He's like, what if he's mixed? That, that's what I'd say. What if he's mixed and then I'd switch out? So, hopefully he's thinking the same thing I'm thinking. He's definitely not a Scarf variant. I don't have to worry too much about that. Mm, U-turn's going to do a little under half. So, I'm not super excited about that. But, I think he's switching out. He's taking long enough that I think he's going to... Up to take the conservative route and switch out. Because usually people don't wait this long to make the ballsy play. Usually. 
He's gonna withdraw, it's fine by me. Right call was made, I have dominance right now. Or not dominance. <laughs> he said abused, I said dominance. I have momentum right now, that's what I meant to say. Oh, there we go. Now what's my response to this? I mean, my response is obviously Robocop. That's an easy one. Mm. Lyric. Alright. Hyper voice. 51 to 61. I tank this in any universe. <sighs> what am I afraid of I'm going into right now? I don't know. And the op here. Steelix, maybe? Cario, maybe? Swellow, maybe? I get this Iron Head. Just play it safe. Iron Head, play it safe. I think the only thing he does is go into Mega Steelix here. I hope he goes into Mega Steelix. Mega Steelix doesn't. Oh, what are you doing, Nate? Oh my god, he lived. Oh my god, he lived. And I outspeed. Holy crap. Are we speed tying? Or is, is he just that slow? Because I did not invest in speed. Is that how that breaks down? Who outspeeds who? 60, 70? Oh, okay, we're both men speed builds. Huh. Alright then. I'm gonna have to wish Baton Pass later. Excellent. He's gonna go out. That's fine. Go into Mega Steelix. Astral? Oh, okay. That was a nice hit. That was a very nice hit. I think he vacuum waves here in like every every timeline. Do I need this thing? Yeah, I do. What am I saying? What am I saying? I definitely need this. Hmm. It all depends on what build this is. I think if, okay, so I think if this is a nasty plot build, or a vacuum wave, does this thing get mock punch? I don't think it does, actually. That doesn't change much, though. He could just be running, he could be running um, vacuum wave on a physical build. That is, like, very viable against a Bisharp. I think that'd be, absolutely be something he does, because no reason not to. It doesn't get, um, it doesn't get mock punch. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test the waters here at Venusaur. Hopefully I don't catch the fattest Zen headbutt right now. Some kind of setup. Oh my god, I caught the fattest Zen headbutt of all time. Oh, that still didn't do much. But Nate, you are wildin', my dude. You are so wildin'. Like, that is the ballsiest read I think I've seen all day. Yes, go for a psychic move, because I didn't just click low kick. That was, wow, okay. I gotta give you props on that one, dude. I think I can tank one more of those, because I'm in the green. 96. Then, headbutt, level 50. 47 to 55. It is a roll, and it looks like he didn't. It's a 50% chance to Oko from where we're at. Say 50% chance. Hmm. Oh, that's the Venusaur form. Oh my god, it gets even weaker. Duh. Why did. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna Mega and Synth up. I just hope he's not Z Psychic. If he's Z Psychic, I die either way. It's irrelevant. Uh, he's gonna withdraw, it's fine. Because now I'm full health. Pokey Aim MD! That's not dropping a Draco. I get it, the jawline, but that thing doesn't get Draco Meteor. So how can that be Pokey Aim? What's he gonna do? Heavy slam me? Yeah, I'm back up to full. That was that was ill-advised. That was very ill-advised. I think I just Giga Drain in every universe. In every timeline, I Giga Drain. Oh, Steelix. Steelix, Mega. That's an Earth. That's a level 100. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. You're better than that. You're better than that. Uh, yeah, Giga Drain. Giga Drain is going to be nice. 
My, it's going to be the good suck. We're giving him the good suck. Right now. Right now, Mega Venusaur. Oh, does this thing get like a Zen headbutt kind of deal? Does this thing get anything I care about all that much? Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Did right about what I thought it would. 28 to 32. He's gonna get rocks up, that's fine. I'll have to just rapid spin him later. Alright, I don't think he wants to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me. I'm gonna sludge bomb predicting the swallow. I'm gonna sludge bomb predicting the swallow. Because I think he just got his rock, so now he can preserve this for later. It'll be kind of like him predicting the uh, the psychic move with the Venusaur coming in. But we shall see. Because if, if Swellow comes in, I just get eviscerated. So I want to put as much damage on that thing as humanly possible. Absolutely humanly possible. Alright, Nate, what are we doing? Once again, he's taking his time, and I think that means he's going to switch. He's just debating what he wants to switch into. Because I think if he picked a move, he would have just picked it by now. I tend to think people take a lot longer to, to, to pick their switch out than they do to take the, pick their attack move. Because if they know what they want to do, then it's just a matter of whether they want to predict or not. Whether it's the 50-50, whether they want to make the hard read, or whether they want to like, hit the thing in front of them. The lucky thing for me is that I don't really care what this thing does unless it's a curse build. And even then, like, we're doing 35% max roll right now, so... Like, if I feel like he's going to go for plus two curse, I can just go into something else. Oh, he's going to stay in. What are we doing? Roar? Oh, that's fine. That's okay. In fact, I don't mind being switched out. Hey, look at that. It's my fantastic rapid spinner. Avalug. Avalug, 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 Avalug. That awkward moment when he doesn't have a single move that does anything to me. Gyro Ball caps at 20, Earthquake caps at 24, Heavy Slam caps at 20. I don't care, I'm rapid spinning. <laughs> <laughs> the coffee table is here, ladies and gentlemen. Be afraid of the coffee table. Now, my Earthquake doesn't do much to him either. So, if I am set up fodder, he's going to set up. But I don't think he's running one coverage move for Curse, Stealth Rocks, whatever. So, he's definitely roaring me again. I think that's the only reason he outspeeds. Earthquake? That's fine. I can trade Earthquakes. I don't need this thing alive. I just need to make sure his rocks are gone. Just need to make sure his rocks are gone. That is all I need to ensure for myself. That is my only, my only thing. Only thing that I gotta worry about. Alright, I gotta kind of log into work. We're bumping up. I got work in 20 minutes, so we're bumping up on that uh, time frame a little bit. Gyro Ball is not going to do anything. I'm slow as fuck, boy. I'm slow as fuck, boy. Hokey doke. Hokey doke, hokey doke, hokey doke. Uh, I think I just... Earthquake. Actually, how much does Avalanche do? Oh, I outspeed, so not a whole lot. He was like higher speed investment. Would that do more? No. It would not do any more damage. Do I have that wrong? Is it like a guaranteed crit or something if I go second? Is that how that works? No, nah, even still it wouldn't help me. It would just wouldn't it wouldn't help me at all. What if I'm you know what? What if I made the read? I'm gonna make the read. <laughs> Please be Swallow. Best top. Oh my god, this is still a great read. This is still a great read. I was like, you know, what if? What if? That didn't do Jack. But you know what? What if that did do Jack? <laughs> Lefties, Hydreigon. Okay. Okay. Is there any universe I live a hit from anything? Hydreigon. Went for Dragon Pulse. I know he's got Dragon Pulse. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. He's a Leftovers. Leftovers. Uh, level 50. Why does it not default? Well, 
Uh, dragon Pulse. 63 to 75. I actually live that? No. 116, 116. Guaranteed Oko after lefty's recovery. Oof. Oof, 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 oof. What if, though? What if I lived? <laughs> what am I even doing? What am I actually doing right now? Umbreon. I think he's got Focus Blast. I think he has to have Focus Blast. Or he could have Roost. I want to believe he has Roost. I want to believe he's going to just Roost right now. Hell with it. He doesn't have rocks. I don't I don't need this thing. <laughs> oh my god! Okay. Alright, alright, alright. He's, he's not healing up on me today. Not today! Not today! <laughs> Evalug, you goddamn meme. You goddamn meme table, you. I do believe I am trying to sack this. Please make the necessary arrangements to make that happen. Thank you. Flamethrower. I die. Alas, I die. Yep, goodbye. I was <laughs> this is a coffee table. What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? Uh, the cool thing about this is the Sylveon is low enough that I might have sweet potential with Infernape in pretty much every universe. So that's great. Uh, Hydreigon kills, uh, Hydreigon kills uh, Avalug, KO Avalug. Do I go into anything but this right now? He's definitely, he's not a Scarf, but he's got Flamethrower, he's got Dragon Pulse. Yeah, I kind of have to go into this right now. I kind of have to. Uh, let me get that out of the way. Oh, does he want to make the read? Does he want to make the read? Mr. Infernape obliterates this thing. He probably thinks my only move that I have for him is Vacuum Wave, so I'm just going to close combat and hope he doesn't go straight into Swallow. Alright, we pick up a kill. Yep, we pick up a kill. Alright, Infernape kills Hydreigon. Who killed Thunderous? I forgot to write that down. Infernape. Who killed the Thunderous? Who did I kill the Thunderous with? It would have been... Oh yeah, I think Infernape also killed that. Oh god, I really don't like this though. Would he be scarfed right now? Would he? Would he be? Would he really though? <sighs> I have to hope he is. Because that's the only way I'm getting out of this alive. Alright, we're going into Bisharp. We're sacking Bisharp off. At least maybe he thinks we have Sucker Punch. Brave Bird? Okay. Alright, that's fine. I gotta hope that's just Scarfed and not Bandit or something. Can Venusaur live a hit from that? Am I gonna get wrecked by a Swallow? Why is there no, like, physical variant here? Brave Bird does not kill. Sludge Wave makes Vacuum Wave a roll, I think. Yeah, Vacuum Wave 37 to 44, it makes it a roll. Okay, we're in an odd spot. I just hope to hell he's not a Z variant. At least he's a Z variant I outspeed, so we have that going for us. But I still won't like it. I still won't like it. Don't be Z. 
Don't be Z variant. Don't be Z. Okay, thank God. Astral? What is that? That's not Poke Aim. Oh, it's this thing. That's the Zen Head Butter. I mean, don't be Z. <laughs> don't be Z. 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 Please do not be a Z user. Just Zen Head Butt me and don't flinch. Don't be Z. Don't be Z. Do not flinch. Do not flinch. Do not flinch. Mother of God. Do not flinch. Do not flinch. Do not flinch. It crits me. That's fine. Do not flinch. Do not flinch. Oh, thank God. Okay. Oh, <laughs> ha! Yikes. From me, dog. That one is a yikes from me, dog. Oh my god. Lucario dies to Mega Venusaur. Oh my god. That scared the piss out of me. T pose. This thing again. This thing again. What does Umbreon take? I think he has to be scarfed. He 100% has to be scarfed. Or he could be banded, but that would be, that would be wild. Umbreon. Umbreon doesn't take shit from this. Really? Is it really that simple? Did I really wall him that hard? You know, with what he has left, the Mega Steelix? Level 50? I think Umbreon just walls him out. As long as I heal up, I'm pretty sure I'm good. Yeah, Earthquake does 40 to 48, but I can at least just heal up on it. And I think that thing's relatively low on health anyway, right? Yeah, I think this is what I let go down. I'm going to synth on the off chance of U-turns. Nope, that's fine. I think I'm actually in a good shot for a good spot for a 1-0 right now. I'm in a relatively decent spot. Okay, so there is that. Yeah, 1,000 times over I foul play, I think. Alright, Mega Venusaur. Dies to Swallow. KO Mega V. Alright, he's gonna take good recoil, so I'm just gonna foul play. I foul play 100% of the time here. If he's bluffing, been bluffing Scarf this whole time, I'm gonna be like, wow, Nate, what a guy. What a, what a read, what a play. What a read, what a play. This is close. This is gonna be really close. This game's not over. It's like it's probably like 60-40 advantage him right now. And I am more okay with that than I thought I would be at this point. Because Umbreon with foul play does work. He's going out, so he's not gonna try and tank that hit. Oh yeah, you know what? I think I beat this thing. I think I beat this thing one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, Umbreon's gonna kill Mega Steelix, so cool. Mega Steelix. You know what? He's probably gonna Earthquake. Actually, how much does a Heavy Slam do? Heavy Slam. Or he, you know what? What if he roars? What if he roars right now? Because he's revealed Roar. Roar, Gyro Ball, Earthquake, Stealth Rock. So he doesn't have Curse, he doesn't have Rest. I'm gonna wish. I'm gonna wish in his face. Because I know foul play kills every time. He's an earthquake, that's fine. 40 to 48. We're gonna get that health back. Nice. That was not what I wanted, though. He's gotta be fully invested for that. Okay. 52. Earthquake, 49. Yeah, maybe. Maybe I'm just panicking. I mean, yeah, we just foul play. Alright, Umbreon's gonna get a kill on Mega Steelix here. Umbreon. Umbreon. Oh, never mind. That's, that's good. That's good health back. That's really good health back. Oh, 
Without speeds. Umbreon or Sylveon. It almost doesn't matter because I tank whatever. Uh, I actually base out speed. If, unless he creeped for me. Don't like this. Don't like this at all. There's no universe in which... Oh, you know what? 7.9? How many ticks does it have left? Oh, you know what? I realized this whole time my HP bar has been off by a smidgen. Dub me. Oh, it's still off. Word. Can you see the health, please? Alright, one, two, two and a half ticks. Two and a half ticks out of 20. Two and a half divided by 20, multiply that by 5, it dies to two foul plays. I think I wish then Toxic. That's like my only play right now. I'm gonna see what he does. Hyper voice, that's fine. Oh boy, he's got lefties, so yeah, I don't think I I don't think I kill him with foul play in any universe. Possibly the worst move ever, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna go out into gym. He's scarfed. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna assume he's gonna see that coming. Oh, this does even more damage. I am the dumb. Oh my god, I live though. Oh, that was too close for comfort. That was way too close for comfort. Right there. Uh, If he's a calm nature, does Flamethrower kill? 28%. No, he's right at 25%. Yeah, if he's a calm nature, this actually might not kill. Oh, thank God. Okay. Phew! Phew! We got him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. I wonder how much damage this thing takes to recoil from hitting Umbreon. I really wish I had rocks right now. Obviously, I don't. All right. Let me see. Swellow... That physical variant. Brave Bird. Brave Bird does 90 to 107. Oh wait, that's without investment. Duh. Uh let's see. U-turn. Hmm. Vacuum wave does 37 to 44. He would take out most 37% recoil. How much would he take on Umbreon? 15% recoil. That wouldn't put us in range. I gotta hope he's banded. I gotta hope this whole time he's been abandoned nature. Or abandoned build. Words. Yeah, if he's scarfed, I think he just wins, and I don't think there's any way around it. Because Umbreon needs the health. Actually, you know what? I say that. If he Umbreon might with the health he's at, Umbreon might be able to tank one hit and just fire off a foul play. So we might be able to pull this out in a narrow 1-0. So I'm just gonna go for the flamethrower and hope he's banded. He's not banded, that's fine. I don't think in any universe he kills Umbreon at the damage he just did. Yeah, I, I think Umbreon can live any one hit and fire off a foul play and win. He's definitely in foul play range. So unless he crits me, unless he crits me, it's a 1-0. Unless he crits me, it's a 1-0. My heart's pounding. My heart is pounding right now. Oh my god, I think we won! I think we won! Yeah, we won! Yes! Oh my god! Three game win streak, baby! Let's go! Let's go! Oh my god, we just won! 
Oh, that was a 1-0. That was so more stressful than any other match I've had so far. And I was on a time crunch to go to work. I have work in two minutes. So the fact that we were able to pull that off with just enough time to spare is... Oh my god, that was terrifying. That was terrifying. Like... My heart was racing. I was like, game, you have one chance to not crit me. Oh my god. I'm gonna puke. I'm not gonna puke. I'm not gonna puke. I'm fine. Uh, guys, go send some love to MutiFan Nate. That was the closest match I've had all season. And considering we had a pretty close game in the in the Let's Go Pikachu Eevee, we're now one and one on each other. That was beautiful. Oh my god. Infernape clutched it out. Oh my god. Umbreon clutched it out. Umbreon clutched it out. What? <laughs> Infernape got three kills and Umbreon got two. That's insane to me. All right, guys, I'm going to get out of here. I got to work, so y'all have a good one. Leave a like on this video and leave a like on Nate's. I'll catch y'all next week against who, uh, MV? No. If it's MV, we're dead. Anyway, bye.